Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you people are residing around our beautiful world. Let's have a fantastic Zoom today. How, how, how are you doing, Remidas? How are you doing? I hope you're fine. We have Dimitri Sirpa. We have Riba with us. We have Hans Erik. We have Stephen Miller. How are you doing today? Thank you. you. Doing well. Hey, how are, are you? Doing better. I I started to be worried about. Do you look? I was worried about me too for a minute there. <laughs> how are you doing? Tell me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, and I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for jumping on. Uh, you know, gosh, <clears throat> life continues to happen regardless of what goes on. Right. That's that's the truth <laughs> yes. that we all that that we all know. Um, uh, if if I could, if you guys don't mind, I'd love to just share some of my experiences of the last week. Uh, it's it's been it's been a really interesting week for me. Uh, I got sick. I got pretty sick. Uh, very similar to kind of what I had before. Uh, just a lot of chest congestion and cough and all that kind of stuff. And in the midst of that, uh, about five months ago, I think I even mentioned this maybe on the call five months ago, possibly. Uh, but about five months ago, uh, we had two dogs and one of them was hit by a truck and, and was run over and killed. And that was a really, that was a really hard thing for our family. Uh, we, we actually got two, uh, American Brittany dogs and, um, the one, one just kind of shot out, got loose and ran out in a, in a busy road, got hit by a truck and, and was killed, you know, and that was really, really unfortunate, a uh, really hard thing to deal with. Um, this weekend, actually on Sunday, the second dog that we have got loose and almost the exact same thing happened. It ran out into a road, got hit by a truck, well, actually got run over by a truck. And I, I, uh, watched the whole thing happen. It was, it was kind of a helpless moment. You know, I, I was sitting there watching this all transpire, didn't know what to do. Couldn't do anything. My kids were trying to run after the dog and I was trying to keep my kids while I was trying to go out and, and, you know, help my dog. And, and, uh, anyway, the dog, the dog was, was killed by this truck and it's been a rough, rough weekend. Um, experiences like this are, are eye-opening. They, they tear at your heart. Uh, they make you refocus and, um, you know, just think about a lot of different things, why you're doing what you're doing, uh, what, what you're doing, if what you're doing is valuable or not, you know, uh, you start to, you start to question everything. And I mean, I'm, I'm a person where I question everything anyway. I mean, that's kind of part of who I am. You know, I, I like to, um, I, I like to really get down to the meaning of things and why I'm I'm doing what I'm doing, why I'm spending the time doing what I'm doing, why I'm so passionate about these different things and what it means. And um, you know, as I as I took some time the last few days to be with my family uh, and to comfort them and to help them, um, I started to think about all of you as well, and I started to think about people that are sacrificing. Uh, people that have have been with us now for uh, you know five or six months as we've been making some different transitions and as we've been trying to um, you know trying to correct a lot of the issues and problems and things that we've had. I've thought a lot about people who have uh, spent a lot of their time, uh, money, and energy to be here uh, to to support this project. I thought about people who may be struggling uh, to put food on the table during this time as they, as COVID has been here, as uh, you know, there are other projects that you could all be out doing and you've been sticking around and staying here with us and jumping on these calls on a daily basis. I, I started to think about um, the, the positivity and, you know, the drive and the conversations that you guys are having each day with new people and bringing people into this, into this group and helping them understand the benefits of blockchain technology, but not just blockchain technology, the benefits of the blockchain technologies that we're supporting and some of the ones that we're also supporting and building, right? And it's, it's, uh, it, this is a tremendous, tremendous undertaking. Um, as I thought about all these things and as I thought about you, I, I get emotional. I'm an emotional guy. Uh, you know, some people are really tough. I'm not. Uh, I, I cry. Uh, you know, and uh, I probably cry more than I should, <laughs> uh, but I, uh, that's just who I am. You know, I, I wear my emotions on my sleeve and I've, 
I spent a, a lot of this last week uh, with my family. <laughs> Sorry, here I go. Uh, spent a lot of time with my family crying and, and just um, trying to uh, understand, you know, why things happen and, and where we are. And I want to let you know that I have so much passion for what we're doing here. Um, like, like a lot of you, I don't have to be here. Um, you all don't have to be here. There are a lot of other places that you could be, that you could choose to do and go to. And, and I'm not, um, I don't look at things with, um, I try to look at things with the proper perspective. And I try to look at things in a way where um, I'm not lying to myself, right? I, I know that there have been uh, issues. I know that there have been problems. There still are some problems. I know that we're getting a lot better at fixing those things. As a matter of fact, um, you know, we are in the final stages of the very last nodes being distributed, um, and which is really, really great. I'm excited about that. Uh, I know that some of you have experienced uh, some fluctuations in your node counts in your back office where you've seen them be there and then all of a sudden they're not there. And we're working to correct all that. A lot of what we're doing right now, we're still in a, uh, a beta phase. And we, I know we've said that a lot, you know, we're still growing this and working towards decentralization, which we're not, we're not hundred percent there yet. Uh, but we are working to get there and we're working to get there as fast as we possibly can. Um, so part of, part of what I wanted to talk about today was also to help you understand a little bit behind the curtain uh, of what's been going on uh, in terms of fixing a lot of the different issues and problems. Um, we have, we've, um, we've spent a lot of time uh, bringing in a new, uh, talented, uh, experienced development group. And one of the reasons why we did that is we noticed there were a lot of uh, a lot of blocks in what we were doing. We noticed that there were a lot of places where uh, certain individuals that were part of the project maybe held held uh, a portion or certain parts of the private keys uh, that that uh, was were, were built in the beginning to keep everything safe. Uh, and the problem with that is with safety, oftentimes comes um, slowness. <laughs> you know, with, with 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 trying to make sure everything is really safe and secure, it's brought about a lot of uh, just a lot of. Um, uh, things that were were making it take a lot longer. Um, over the last couple of weeks, and even this last week, uh, we have opened that up. Uh, we have we have compartmentalized a lot of our need for security, so that we could take other areas of where people need to access and get access to to be able to fix a lot of different problems. Uh, we've been able to open that up now and open it up to a much larger group of individuals. And so we have dedicated teams now that have recently uh, received. Um, the access levels and security levels that they need without, without compromising the overall security of the project uh, to be able to fix problems even faster. So that's, that's been a real big focus of this last week. Uh, and even as I've been out and have, I, as I've taken some time, the team has really been diving in to do and, and correct and fix uh, a lot of that based on those kind of different access levels. So uh, the structures are being fixed. More and more of you, I'm sure, are looking at your uh, at your organizations and seeing uh, those structures come into play and come in come in line. It's not it's not fully finished for everybody yet, but we're we're getting a lot closer. Uh, we have each of the different issues uh, um, recorded and in queue right now. And so as we uh, now that we've got kind of this access level opened up a little bit more, and we've got more people. Um, access to be able to make and fix those problems, those are those are gonna those are gonna fall off a lot faster. Those are gonna go a lot faster. So that's one thing that I wanted to talk about today. Um, another thing that but I wanted just to just quickly, today, Steven, so we don't need to repeat on that. I can give a really short update with that as I've been involved a lot with it. Thank you. Uh, just just to say that uh, you said something really that I like there, Stephen, with that nobody of us has to be here, and and I can yeah. say that you know. There was a reason for me not uh, choosing to uh, pursue my legal career. And that was sitting in front of a computer and sitting in an office. 
<laughs> and I was I was today actually I was speaking with uh, with with a good friend of mine Aaron's brother actually you know and I said that I don't know how anybody got me to sit in front of the computer those hundreds of hours that I've been you know sitting the last month and and he said yeah but maybe you can get a compensation for it. I said that would not be be you know benefiting me because I couldn't put the price that it would be worth for me actually doing it So why have I been doing it? A very simple answer to that is very simple. Because it's the right thing to do. Because people need to, and we are now in the last pushes, like you said, Stephen, with getting the organization in place. We started with actually 30,000 some account, if you remember. We were screening it down to 8,000 some accounts. Then last week we were working through 180, 190 some accounts with double accounts and these and you leaders. Thank you for all of that. And thank you for Auntie and Henry and everybody else that's been involved, you know, helping with it. And now we are on the last push I saw today. And, you know, I'm just looking at the list and I think, oh my, you know, because in my organization also still to go, it's only 70 left. And it's just like, I'm just looking at it and, okay, one last push. Let's make sure that people get the packages, people. Because I today got a question and I, I almost ashamed to read it, you know, on my phone. Because it's, why would I do? Because I don't qualify myself. I mean, that's a really, really, really bad answer if you're asking me. So why am I doing it? Because I'm qualified and why would I care? Because it's the right thing to do, because people will come back to you guys that listens on this call. When green starts to move and the value goes, when element value starts to go and so on, people have to claim. And the founders of back in the days of these companies have purchased products for you guys, for us, fully paid. But we can't give them if people are not signing up. So that was the only thing I wanted to jump in between. And I know, Stephen, how much it taken from your time to do this. And I know how many times we've been on these calls, you know, saying, oh, this again, you know, that we are stuck in it. It takes time to go to 30,000 accounts and get down to a few hundred. <laughs> so, but we are there, guys. We are so close. And you guys know that are on this call, you leaders, you will have to bother yourself. A last push now. Please help your organization to get the products. That's what I wanted to say. Please go ahead, Stephen. Hey, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And um, you know, there, I want to talk about a few different things also, uh, today, just to kind of, um, help everyone know what's happening again, a little bit of what's happening in, in the background. There are, there has been a massive push, uh, that's just barely starting right now as well. We, we've, we've had the last few weeks, we've had a lot of individuals that have been coming on, uh, and want to, and contributing with the green project. As a matter of fact, we've got one individual in particular who is, is just an amazing gentleman who has been in the renewable energy space for a long, long time, uh, and is coming in to, to de devote a full-time effort, uh, to the green project kind of coming in to lead, lead the charge as it were in a lot of different things around green. If you've looked at green recently, also on Uniswap, there's been a lot of volume uh, that's been going through green in the last several days uh, and the last week or so as well. Uh, you know, green is, is, is up about seven and a half percent in the last little bit here. It's at about a penny right now. It's been kind of fluctuating, but there's been a lot of uh, quite a bit of volume uh, that's been going through uh, green just in the last seven days. There's been a, uh, you know, about six, uh, I think it's $160,000 uh, of trading volume in just the last seven days. Uh, they're on, on Uniswap. And so there are some great things that are starting to happen right now. There's a lot of focus that's being put on green and green solar and different integrations uh, with green. And, you know, I think one of the biggest things that we need to understand with everything that we're doing here, and one of the biggest things that can help all of these projects to grow and to reach their ultimate full potential is 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 by us helping with the adoption. I mean, that's really what this is all about. This is one of the reasons why I love these projects and why I'm here is because I can help. I can help the adoption. I I, I can help the project to grow uh, because I'm part of the project, and all of you are part of these projects. Uh, you're all you all have the ability to affect positive growth and positive change uh, with each of these projects and. Even if it, if you feel like, hey, well, I'm, I'm not necessarily on the inside or in the inner circle, uh, I want to let you know that anybody who wants to come and participate, anybody who wants to 
uh, you know, offer offer liquidity, anybody who would want to uh, invite people to come and join. Those are all massive efforts that will help each of these different projects to grow and flourish. Uh, at the end of the day, we have great technology backing each of these different projects that we're supporting. Uh, we have wonderful individuals that are growing and adding towards the development of these projects that are that are uh, adding to the vision and, and expanse of these projects. Uh, and, and we are, we are moving forward in a really big way. Uh, you know, I, I look at, uh, some of the bigger projects out there, you know, you look at things like Bitcoin and you look at Ethereum, uh, and some of the, the ones and the old, old ones that have been around for a long time. And when you look at their life cycle and how long it took many of those to actually stand up and, uh, grow, you know, grow legs and to really be able to do something, uh, a lot of those projects it took a long, long, long time. Um, we are—I don't think we're going to take anywhere near as long. I mean, Green has already been around now for uh, about four years, and we're starting to see some really great movement in a in a much shorter amount of time. On top of that, uh, all of the other projects that we're supporting, I think, are going to go even, even, even faster and better. I mean, I don't. Time will tell, of course, with all these things, and I—I I don't know. I don't have a guarantee. Uh, but from what I'm seeing, the individuals that are here to support the, the work that they're putting into it, the time that they're dedicating to these projects, uh, often, oftentimes for free, just kind of giving their time and effort uh, to what we're doing here, it's, it's astounding uh, and it's, it's pretty amazing. There will still be some adjustments uh, to some accounts. Uh, just want to let you know, don't worry about those adjustments. That's This is just kind of part of the process. You're going to see those. And, and of course, they will settle appropriately, appropriately where they need to be. Uh, everyone will have uh, the nodes that they that they should have, uh, and, and that will all be corrected and, and appropriate. And I think the biggest thing for this is making sure that as we move forward on each of these different projects, uh, we are establishing roadmaps. Uh, for the different projects so that you can see kind of uh, not necessarily uh, timeline is probably the, the, a bad way to put it, but you can see the steps that are that are in place and that are going to be taken uh, to get to where we need to be as a, as a project, uh, to where each of these projects need to be, to where uh, I, I believe they'll, it'll help the success of each and every one of these projects. So, um, so that's what I wanted to share today. Uh, we are, oh, one more, one more thing, of course. Uh, we are working on uh, the final stages of the compensation plan uh, with the requirements so that that can be published. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to have that. And I know this has taken a lot longer than any of us have, would, would like. Um, we are paying out right now. Again, I just want to make sure that that's clear. Uh, things are being paid. Uh, your, your direct commissions are all being paid right now. Uh, so the, the, Transaction rewards, the, the confirmation rewards, and the block rewards, those are all being paid out currently. Uh, and, and those will continue to be paid out as we correct some of the genealogy that needs to be corrected. Um, the node support rewards have been on hold, and those, those are on hold because uh, we have to correct everything before we can pay those out. Uh, all the genealogy and all the purchases have to be in the proper order. Otherwise, People are going to get stuff that they're not supposed to, or certain people won't get what they should get. And so we that that's just that's just on pause until we can correct all that information, uh, and then we will get that that paid out as well. But I, I believe that we're probably uh, just a couple of days out from having the corrected documentation that we can then publish for everybody, so that you can start moving forward, explaining it, understanding it. We can start having these these conversations uh, on these calls be more about the sales process and how we can start to grow everything as well. Uh, we're just, we're just a, a, probably a, a couple of days out from that as well. So <laughs> I'm looking seriously forward to that uh, too. network too. for life and foremost. <laughs> that is, that is uh, what I think everybody on this call is waiting for, you know, when can we really get going? And yes, we have to remember also, like Steven said, you can sign up people. They can get involved in a specific project and so on. I have a follow-up question for that one, Stephen. Um, I know some of the projects already you can uh, purchase the smaller nodes, like uh, not the full smart node. How does it look with Element? Uh, do you have an update on Element where that one is right now? Thank you. Um, I don't right now. But what I would like to do is actually I will bring Element on, uh, on one of our next calls, maybe early next, maybe Tuesday of next week. 
Uh, we can have Element on the call and they can give a full update as uh, to where they are. They've been doing a lot of work also in the background and trying to make sure that they've got everything lined up appropriately. Uh, there are a few things that are going to be starting to launch here soon with Todd Hoffman and uh, and his show, which is really exciting because that's all going to be helping to support the whole Element project. So I think uh, I, will, uh, I will give you an update maybe uh, tomorrow or the next day, uh, but I believe that we, we should be able to have Element on uh, early next week. Brilliant. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, if you could uh, message me, Stephen, uh, so we can announce that what day it could be or in, in Slack or in tomorrow's call, maybe that we have between us. Uh, if you could uh, get an update great. on then, it would be brilliant. Sounds great. Thank you, Stephen, for your time. And uh, hey. I know it's not hasn't been easy. First That's traveling okay. a lot, then jet lag. I know you had a bad one, and then getting sick after. So thank part, you. Part your- part of life. I'm glad to be back. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> yes. We'll, we'll see you. Thank you. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, on this call, uh, we will, as I said, uh, we will continue. I know that uh, Rimidas, Peter, Sirpa, some of you are Simon, uh, Jairo, a few others will be contacted and have been contacted for the last ones now, guys. I know it's it is you know ripping the hair. I'm ripping my hair but I will get it done together with you. So any help that you need, if it's somebody still that hasn't signed up, hasn't received their notes, please let us know so we can work through and make sure that you as a leader qualify higher for the node support reward pools. Because that's what it's all about, correct? Because the more people you have that has got the products, are running the nodes and so on, the better obviously also your reward will be. So that's that's all from me today. Uh, we will, as Stephen said, then in the beginning of next week, probably Tuesday, then have an update on Element. I'm looking forward for that one. I'm very excited for that one. So, and guys, lastly but most importantly, I got a ridiculous question actually the other day, and uh, that asked me that are we still in the project? You know, will we be here in 30 days from now? Yeah, I don't know, 30 days, but for sure, 30 months. <laughs> okay, so we are not going anywhere. There is nothing on the market that interests me in the way that connect us. I am also like you. I would like to get going yesterday, but honestly, with what? With what? This is what I believe in. Uh, it is a project worth doing, and I trust the people in Connect behind. I trust Aaron. I trust Mike, Nigel, everybody else you know involved and so on. We are all here to make the utmost of it, doing what we can for all of us to enjoy a good future together. So don't believe that I'm going anywhere. I'm here. I just been too busy with things that I don't enjoy too much, but I'm doing it because I want to help my team, the whole Connect and your team to get what they deserve. So have a nice evening, guys. We speak soon. Bye-bye. Good night.